Hey kids, it's me, Tony Holmperm, the singing diva of Long Island. If you enjoy videos where you get to see a drag queen take a eyeshadow palette and create a fabulous drag look, well then you've come to the right place. Now today I decided to play with a new palette in my collection. It's the uh, uh, P. Louise Stack 'em Up What's Your Favorite Position CEO 000000. I, I, I don't know. These little stack em up palettes, they have so many names written on them. I, I don't know which one is which. I mean, I think it's CEO 000000. But I'm just calling it the purple palette, okay? Because um, when we open her up, here it is a very beautiful uh, eight pan purple color story eyeshadow palette. Now, of course, I did swatch the palette, so uh, let me throw the swatches up, and uh, I'll describe each one to you. Okay, going in order from left to right, we have the first uh, shimmer called Icon. Then we have a very matte, sort of a, a grape color called Empire. The next is Priceless. Priceless? which is a lavender matte. Then we have Bankroll, which is a, a, a another shimmer. The only other shimmer in the palette, actually, and it's sort of a light pinky purple. Then we have Ambition, which is a, a very dark matte, the darkest matte in the palette. It's kind of a sort of an eggplant purple bluish color, um, but really beautiful, very, very deep and intense. Then is CEO, O, 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 and that's more of a red-based purple, uh, very, very beautiful. The next is Driven, uh, another matte, and it's sort of a um, pinky purple, kind of like a fuchsia. And the next is Loaded, which is... Hmm, kind of a, in, it's sort of in between a fuchsia and a lavender. Uh, it's a, it's a uh, matte, and uh, that's, yeah, that's what it is. I don't know how, I don't know how else to describe it. How many words can you use to describe all these different purples? Um, but that's, that's it. And those are all the swatches. Okay, so those are all the swatches. It's swatched amazingly. I, I cannot say enough good things about the swatches every single shadow swatched beautifully the mattes all very pigmented the shimmers all really really nice i also decided as long as i was playing with this p louise purple palette i would go into uh, some of the p louise stuff that i've had sitting around for I don't know how long and I haven't used in the longest time like I have here. There was uh, from way back a P. Louise and Mitchell collab, these little acid rain bases and uh, I have one of uh, her other bases. Uh, what is this? This is the color. I think this is Vivid Violet and uh, I just said I've got them. I haven't used them in the longest time. Let me, you know, let me do something with them. Uh, I do want to point out, uh, I think I, I discussed in the tutorial, the foundation I use, the Dermacol, and uh, I feel so yellow. I feel so yellow. And of course, the purple doesn't help because purple and yellow are so complementary. Like when I'm looking at myself in the monitor, I'm just like, I, I feel like I stepped out of the Simpsons. I mean, that's how yellow I am. It's not the worst thing in the world. Um, I, I, I doubt I will be using that Dermacol again. Tomcat, I think I have some foundation for you. Well, with that being said, I think I might as well just roll the camera back in time and show you how I created today's look, which I'm calling my Purple Range. <laughs> because we used a range of purples, of course. So that's all I have to say. Let me roll the camera back, show you how we got here. Okay, and I am back. Uh, decided to come in closer uh, with the camera than I did in my last video. I was, I was a little far away in the last video. I don't know what I was thinking. Anywho, okay, so um, 
Eyebrows glued down, base foundation done. I did a little uh, cream contour, although it's not really even showing up. I usually don't cream contour uh, for these uh, videos. Usually, I, I, I mean, usually I do for performance. Um, but uh, I realized I didn't, I didn't cream highlight. Oh well. Uh, except, except for the nose. That's really the most important. We'll, we'll powder highlight the, the. Uh, areas that need to uh, be bright so it is what it is uh, so yeah I did a, a purple eyebrow and I used a lot of the uh, P. Louise products that I have the um, the acid rain and ecstasy um, the uh, base and what color is this uh, vivid violet and uh, and used some colors from the uh, from the palette to go over that I'm like, why oh, twiddled and tweaked with these brows? Too much today, too much. But and, and I'm still not happy with them. But what else is new? I'm never happy with the brows. So what I think I'm gonna do um, <laughs> is go in very, very dark with this color, ambition, and I'm just gonna do that in in the crease and in the outer eye and then blend it out with the with the lighter colors and I'm I didn't take down because I want to go all the way out I'm go, going all the way out today um, and uh, I think probably I, I don't think I'm gonna use shimmers on the eye I think I'll be using them only on uh, I think I'll use them with the lip so let's just let's just see what happens we are playing around with the makeup today. It is, again, one of the coldest. Oh, just gotta tap out those creases. Also, I used my P. Louise base. Since we're using P. Louise eyeshadow, it's again one of the coldest days of the year it's ridiculously cold the pigment is pretty good on that I don't know if this is the right brush to use I should probably use a smaller brush I'm just going to clean that off I'm going to go in with a somewhat smaller pointier blending brush if I can find one. Uh, go with this one. I don't even know. What is this? It's a Morphe E17. You know. Yeah, that's that's a little better. Because I, I want this in very specific areas. Like I said, I don't normally pay attention to like the brushes, the brush number, the brand, anything like that. I just grab something that works and um, that's how I roll. I want this to be a very dark crease. I want a really bright, well not bright, but I want a, a lot of contrast um, when I cut the crease, because the, the lid area is going to be very bright. I think it's going to be just matte with the brightest color in palette <sighs> so I've got this one little ridge here from gluing down the brows and I can't seem to get the eyeshadow into that spot but I think if we take a little pencil brush and dig it in there yes there we go yes because I had a <laughs> spot that was 
driving me nuts. Okay. So this is how we're gonna do this. I'm not taking this dark color too far up, too far out. Blend and blend and blend. It's, it's gonna be a lot of a lot of blending. Okay, so uh, let me do the same on the other side and then we'll start with blending it out. Okay, so I laid Ambition down on both eyes and just to be safe, I said, let me put some powder down. I really don't want any fallout. Um, some people like to do the eyes first and then do the base, but with drag, I, I really like to have a, a blank canvas to work with. So I, I just put the powder down and we brush it away after. Uh, so, okay, that seems pretty good. I'm going to now go in with this color, CEO, o o o o o o this this color here, and start blending out Ambition. My husband was kind enough to get me a frozen coffee from Dunkin' Donuts. Mm. Yeah, coldest day of the year, and I'm drinking frozen coffee. Well, he drinks, he actually drinks an iced coffee, like, every day, every day. Even in this coldest weather, he's still doing his frozen coffee. How, how he does it, I don't know, but, but he does. Yeah, Ambition was... It looks kind of bluish on the eye, which I don't mind. Oh, there's a loose hair on this brush. That's driving me nuts. I hate that. Um, but I think now blending the CEO color. <sighs> okay. Um, C E O O O O O O O whatever it is. Um blending that on top of ambition I think is now firmly putting us back in the purple range. Purple range. Maybe that's what we'll call this video. Be on my thumbnail, maybe. Purple range. That uh, is looking good, looking good, looking good. Okay, let's do the same on the other side. Okay, that is still looking good. It's so pigmented. Um, so now let's go into the next color, Driven. Let's get like a smaller blending brush. Mm -hmm. Here we go. I don't know what it. What is it? Oh, it's a Morphe and Jaclyn Hill from way, way back. This is from when she did that vault collection. By the way, this look is very inspired by. Um, two of my favorite YouTubers, Make Me Up Missa and Elena Glam. I mean, seriously, those those two, they really they should be drag queens. Well, Elena Elena is a is a drag queen, La Diva Deluxe. And if you don't follow her on YouTube, Instagram, and all those things, you really, you really need to. Her, uh, her eye looks, uh, well, not just her eye looks, she does all kinds of incredible, uh, makeup, um, sometimes, you know, special effects and things like that, um, but, uh, you definitely should be following her, and definitely, you should be following Make Me Up Missa. 
They both have way more subscribers than me. But they definitely deserve it for the for the the great work that they do. Oh, that's looking that's looking so so good. It really is. And uh and and this isn't like final blending. So, but um it's really it's really coming along. So let me do the same on this side. Okay, uh that color driven is is so beautiful. I think I'm going to use that as my blush. And uh now we're going to go in with this color, loaded. So in case I didn't say it all throughout this, we went from ambition to the CEO, whoa, 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 uh, to driven and now loaded. And I'm just color switching that same brush off. I know some people they you know like to use a different different brush for all the colors, but uh, I'm lazy. I am lazy. <laughs> um, and besides, the color switch, the color switch gets the color off. That's all that matters. I sort of feel like loaded is a little darker than driven so I don't know if it was a mistake to go that route but oh well it is what it is I mean, it looks lighter in the pan I don't know why it's looking darker on the eye but um oh well it's fine it's fine we always make it work okay so um i'm pretty happy with that i'm gonna go back in and uh just re-blend everything uh try to make it as seamless as possible although it's pretty good. It's it's pretty good, even for just a uh, you know a an initial blending. Um, but I'm gonna re-blend everything, uh, and then uh, I'm going to cut my crease, and I'll be right back after that. Okay, I'm back. I cut my crease, and uh, I did that uh, by carving out with a Q-tip and some uh, Neutrogena eye makeup remover because I wanted to get rid of as much pigment on the area that was going to be the crease um, and then uh, went back in with some P. Louise and I have the brightest um, the, the whitest shade the lightest shade uh, which I think is rumor zero zero because um, I really like the colors to pop my frozen coffee delish so really the idea had always been that I would um, go over that cut crease area that I was going to keep it matte um, because I have a reason for doing that so I think I'm gonna stick to that Let, let's see how it looks I'm gonna go in with this the lightest shade priceless so let's just color switch that brush and see how it looks The reason, the reason I am keeping the lid matte is because I'm going to try a pair of colored lashes. So I figured maybe it didn't really pay to do anything crazy on the cut crease area if I was going to have a colored lash. So, that's the thought. 
Will it work? I don't know. We're going to find out. And I should have blended in here first, and I didn't. But that's okay. We'll just blend it in afterwards. Okay, I think I think I'm happy with that. I do, I do. So, um, let me do the same on the other side and just, um, you know, work on that blend a little bit and uh, I'll come back and then we'll, we'll go from there. Okay, I'm back. So I set priceless on uh, both sides. I just did a little bit of liner work on the uh, top of the eyelid. I, I didn't go crazy. I didn't even bring it into the corner as usual. Uh, I wish I could do that better than I'm able to. Uh, one of the main issues I have is uh, just got kind of sort of crazy little folds on my inner eye, and it's like it's not really like a smooth area to make like those sharp corners the way I really, really would love to. But we all have our crosses to bear. So, anyway, let's um, work on the under eye and um, not doing anything different than what we did on the top. I'm going to go in with Ambition right at the outer edge here. And I'll just blend it out. Um with the same colors that I used on top of the eye. I used a uh, <laughs> an old foundation that I've, I've had laying around. I don't know if anybody would remember this stuff, Dermacol, for like um, the longest time. I remember actually when I first started watching uh, makeup videos on YouTube and, you know, wanted to learn more about makeup and drag makeup and, and whatnot. Um, that was like a thing, the Dermacol foundation. Everybody was like using it and, you know, they were like covering tattoos and they were like, <laughs> you know, because <laughs> it was, um, doing such a great job of, 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 you know, covering and supposed to be so incredibly, um, pigmented and all that stuff and uh but but apparently there were like a lot of like dupes of the dermacol around and so people were like sometimes they were getting the real dermacol and sometimes they weren't and so sometimes you know the uh uh outcome of using it was not what they uh had hoped it would be and now, now you don't ever hear about Dermacol. At least, at least I don't. I don't know. Uh, I don't recall ever seeing any videos of late where anybody was was using the Dermacol. Oh, I really should have brushed the foundation. The, not the, the foundation. The powder. That I had set down away. I think we we're good with all that. I really love how this eye look is coming out. Very, very happy with it. Uh, for a change, like I didn't go crazy with the lid, just set it down matte, and um, I'm not displeased with it whatsoever. Okay, I think that's um, that's pretty much it. I'm going to uh, finish everything up off camera, and when I come back, I'll have the finished drag look, and uh, I think we're all going to be pretty pleased with it, so stay tuned. And we're back, and here it is, the completed drag look. What do you all think? Hmm? I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, as I said in uh, my tutorial, 
Uh, I'm calling this my purple range. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm using a, a range of purples to create this look, and uh, I'm very happy with it. Okay, now of course, as always, I want to let you know what I did to complete the look. Of course, there was my uh, contouring and highlighting. Uh, I went into the palette, uh, back into the palette, to use this color Driven for my blush, and uh, I think that worked really good. For um, upper cheek highlight, I grabbed this Artist Couture highlight. Uh, this is called, it's, it's one of his Diamond Glow powders, and it's called Purple Dream, and uh, I think it, uh, it's, it's really such a beautiful highlight. And um, what I love to do now, well, I, I've always done this, really, um, but uh, after I do my contouring and blush, that's when I like to do the highlight. But what I like to do is go in with a setting spray uh, once all the powders are down, um, so I feel like it helps meld the powders into the, into the skin. And uh, I've been using, you know, my own setting spray that I've made because I was getting so tired of using up those those little bottles that are like and and really it's all it really is for the most part is distilled water and a few other ingredients and I made my own and I can use it as much as I want and I've been using this for uh quite a while now and I still have tons of it left and uh if I have to make more I have all the ingredients and uh, I can easily throw together another batch so um there's lots of DIY videos on YouTube if you want to make your own setting spray. I just found for me, because, you know, doing drag and doing all these tutorials, it really was a waste of money uh, going through those little bottles. It, it was driving me nuts. But I digress. So now the lips. Uh, I just threw on a Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink, and this is the color creator, because I wanted uh, something purple, and then I went back into the P. Louise CEO -O 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 palette, and I put some of the Shimmer Icon down, and then some of this color Bankroll down on that, but I think, I think, I think, I want to take a little bit of the Artist Couture highlight and put it in the very, very... center of the lip. What do, you, what do you think? I think it just gives it a little bit of a of a zhuzh. Love it. And also because uh, I wanted to just try something different, I've got um, these colored lashes from my good friend Ashley Jade and uh, her company Chaotic Cosmetics. I think I have... Yes, they, they come in a pack like that. Uh, that's where the, the blue would be, but uh, of course I have them on. And uh, five pieces, you have a, a red, an orange, a yellow, a green. And I just thought it would be fun to uh, do a, a colored eyelash. Um, I, I thought it would show up more. I don't, I don't know if it's showing up that well because of the, um, the colors that I, that I did. But I mean, they are... They are really uh, beautifully, intensely colored. I mean, if you see, if you see these, I mean, you can see how how beautiful they look. But that's probably my mistake. Maybe I should have just done a very white cut crease, and then they would have showed up more blue. But um, that's on me, and uh, it, it's fine. I I think you can still see enough of of the blue that uh, I'm happy with them. So now my thoughts on this little P. Louise purple palette well let, let me tell you this is the this is the purple palette that could uh really really good i just love how this look came out um especially because you have this color ambition um as a deepening shade i mean the the only thing that really would have made it you know the absolute best purple palette in the world would have been if there was you know something just a, even a little bit brighter uh, than uh, priceless, but that's okay. I can I can live with it. I mean, really, 
uh, I, I could have gone with uh, a white, you know, like my sugar pill white or something like that. So not the, not the end of the world. Um, but the, the palette itself overall, what a great little purple palette. It, it really is. 100% drag worthy. I love this look. And uh, also have to tell you, definitely Tony Home Perm approved. Now, if you enjoyed this video, then please hit the like button down below. And of course, hit the subscribe and the notification bell. This way, YouTube will notify you every time one of my new videos comes out. You can also catch me twice a month on the internet variety show, Naughty or Nice, which is the show that I do with the horror diva, Alexis Flame. And then there is my weekly podcast, God Will Get You For That, Walter, which is the review show I do with Tom Cat. We watch episodes of the 1970 sitcom Maud. We discuss the social implications, ramifications, uh, talk about how things were in the 1970s, how much they have changed, and in some ways how they've still stayed the same. And also everywhere to find me on social media, all those details listed down below. Well, kids, that's all I have for you today. This was my purple range. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I know. <laughs> I'm such a cornball. Uh, but this was it. This was my purple range look, and I had a lot of fun doing it. And uh, I think that's it for today. I actually have... <coughs> I actually have kitty litter that I have to change, so I need to get out of all this drag and uh, go do some menial manual labor. So, until the next video, bye-bye.